And I want to go through and unpack uh, real quickly for you guys um, the five major fears. And really, they are the major fears in the five pyramids of your human performance. Fear is a very real thing, and it's a good thing. Like, if you get back to our, you know, caveman days, like fear and stress, like that's how you didn't get eaten by the lion or get eaten by the bear. <laughs> the biggest fear in your physical life is pretty simple. It's death. And one thing that's congruent towards or congruent in a lot of these fears is the only way to uh, work through that, to get over that, to get past that is actually to walk towards that. As you can see where we are, I just wanted to get on here and tell you like how many of these people are lying in these graves right now with ideas still in their head, with these thoughts that they had of doing these things that just never got around to it, that got busy with the everyday routine of life, that got busy with all of the stuff that we occupy all of our time with. Reality for me is when I think of the fear of death, it's really the fear of not living life the way that you should. It's a fear of not leaving behind what you should. It's, it's a fear of, of not having said the things you wanted to say, of done the things that you wanted to do. And so it's not actually the fear of death, it's really just the fear of not truly living. In the intellectual pyramid, there's this fear of being found out. And I've talked on this podcast uh, quite a few times about this idea of being a fraud. Yeah, I, I've, I say often that I'm a fraud. And sometimes it's just like clickbaity to get people to watch a video. But but I unpack that the idea of being putting yourself in fraudulent environments, meaning if if you say that you're going to be a $300 million company in this huge audacious goal, but you're acting as though it's a foregone conclusion, then that is a fraudulent environment to be in. The fear is that someone's going to call you out or that something's going to happen to where what you think, you know, is not enough. And so the only way that you can combat that fear is by continually learning and not only learning, but applying what you're learning to your life. Third wealth is the fear of loss the fear of losing money, the fear of the risk that's involved with whatever it is that you're pursuing, that you may lose that, or it may be taken away from you. I remember the first time I lost a million dollars in one day, and somebody said, my, how does it feel to lose a million dollars? I said, well, I never thought I'd be in a position to lose a million. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't feel good, but I tried to look at it the right way. This is an interesting step in how to uh, move in the direction of that fear to ultimately get past it. But imagine taking out a check and completely write it out to somebody else or leave the name blank, but put the amount on that check as your entire net worth and write it out on a check as though you were going to just give that to someone else. But just the act of doing so or attempting to do so will move you in the direction of that which you fear, which is losing everything. When you get to a place in your mind where you are willing and able to write a check to give everything away, then now that fear of losing what you and your mind are in the process of giving away dissipates. In the relationship pyramid, the biggest fear that's most prevalent in people right now is this feeling of being alone. And we're in a situation right now where we've been purposely isolated for good and not so great reasons. but isolation causes death and this fear of being alone is very real for a lot of people right now and for those of you that maybe feel alone and not maybe an alone in the sense that i'm not around other people because if you don't realize you can be very alone when you're around tons of people as well i've been in my most alone moments ever when i was surrounded by people but it's because i was alone in my thoughts and i was alone in my head but for those of you that are going through that right now i would just ask you what are you waiting for an actionable step to walk towards that, and this one, again, just like the last one, is gonna be a little funny, it's gonna sound, it's gonna sound odd, but try to damage your relationship. Just like in the last 
the uh, last fear, Tom has told me numerous times that out of the hundreds of people he's coached, no one will actually do it. Because the reality is you don't want to damage your relationships. You don't want bad relationships. But this fear of not wanting to be alone, just step towards it. What would I need to do in order to actually be alone? I would need to damage the relationships from people around me. But as you actually go through that process of trying to damage the relationships around you, you'll realize that you can't do it. The last one, spiritual, which is the fifth pyramid of human performance, the biggest fear is that life is empty. But the actionable step for being able to step towards this fear that life is empty or that life is meaningless is to simply try to prove that life is meaningless. And it's an interesting process as you try to convey and articulate why life would be meaningless. If that's a fear that you have, I promise you, and again, Tom has confirmed this with hundreds of people coaching one-on-one, -on -one, it's impossible to prove and to convey that life is meaningless and not have your articulation of that filled with meaning. Kind of getting to the reality and the understanding that what you do does matter and that it does make an impact and has a ripple effect potentially through generations. Um, and having that meaning of knowing that like what I'm doing today is going to be connected to things that happen years and years from now puts way more importance on on honoring your word and doing the things that you're supposed to do. Um, it especially helps in you know the negative places that you can go to and the negative things that you can be involved with of understanding that those things are going to be connected to. Like if you're making the wrong choices and wrong decisions that at some point that's going to come around and, and it's going to overflow into all the other pyramids. And so as you look at all five of these fears, death being found out, loss, being alone, that life is empty. Which one of those resonate with you? Which one of those are a fear that you may have right now or that you've had in the future? And which ones are the ones that came, seem to be coming up the most on a weekly basis? Which of those fears are most prevalent in your life? That would be the one that you want to start with. You don't have to start with physical. The one that's most prevalent in your life is the one that you ultimately need to start going down this path of walking towards it.